Right, beloved, my name is Reverend Isaac Quartin of Victory Outreach Church, the resident pastor of the Accra branch. And this is my wife, Vivian Quartin, so mommy. Uh, we are privileged to have this interview or discussion with our founder here, Apostle Paul Kofi Ejekum and Mrs. Ejekum, our mommy. Um, it's a wonderful moment and we are privileged to have them to share a little experience that they've had, you know, a number of years that they've been away uh, from the family and then the church and all that. I believe is going to impact positively on all of us. So let's take it from here. God bless you. Apostle and mommy, mm -hmm. we just want to welcome you. Thank you very uh, much. Welcome back to Ghana. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you are looking so good. Oh, Thank you very much, right. Reverend. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we just want to find out. We just want to find out uh, how far you've been away mm. and your experiences so far. Mm. Uh, being away from the family mm. and that of the church. Mm. Well, we still see that the church is still going mm. and it's still doing well, mm. even in your absence. absence I'm talking yeah. about the branch here, right. the branches in Accra. Right. And we also hear of that of the UK. Right. So that wonderful work that you've done. Right. Yeah, if you can share some few lines with us. Right. Yeah, um, Reverend Isaac Quartin and Mrs. Quartin, God bless you so much for coming. Amen. I thank you very much for making yourself available on this wonderful platform, um, which is broadcasting by SK Beach. Um, I'm so grateful for coming. Actually, um, the experience of leaving your family behind in Ghana for a period of more than 10 years is not an easy journey. Mm. But um, lest I forget, um, let me express my sincere appreciation to Victory Missions London in Ghana, the prayer and the physical support you gave us during the um, uh, send-off. Uh, we are so grateful. We are so grateful. May God bless you so much. Whatever you have lost, concerning our coming to Ghana, we pray that God will bless you and replenish you. Now, coming Amen. back to your question as to telling the public about our experience of leaving the family behind, as I said, it's not an easy thing. Mm. And uh, some of the experiences, I don't think we'll be able to say it in front of camera. That's all right. But I wouldn't advise anyone to separate, if not because of something that is very urgent and important, mm. don't ever leave either your wife or children somewhere and you living somewhere. In fact, within the Christian um, um, contest, or if I should say so, mm. I don't think it is proper. Mm. Now, when you look, when you go through the scriptures and you see the examples of the early apostles, pastors, and evangelists, None of them left their children or their wives somewhere or in the name of ministry. It's not biblical. Mm. But um, we have been going through um, some kind of, sometimes it's because of the financial constraint and difficulties and challenges. People have been forced to accept certain things and taking certain steps, which has a long effect on a society if we don't start talking about it and educate both believers and unbelievers to be very careful. Now, Ghana is losing a lot, but we don't know. Mm. Because our politicians, they are only sensitive to political aspect of life. And when it comes to the social aspect, they are not sensitive. You have a people who are always yearning to travel, leaving their wives, leaving their husbands, leaving their children, what plans do you have to put in place to make sure there is a social program to educate your citizens to be careful how they travel and leave their family behind? It has a long effect, a long way effects. And I'm telling you, 
Um, one of the challenges we faced in our case, even though we were there in the name of missions, is the, um, the money, the quantum of money that went into it for, you see, there's the need for you to talk to your children on a daily basis. Okay. And for a consistent four years in the UK, and every week, at least after three days, you need to buy a card and call them. You oh, ca yes. um, no, 14 solid years. Right, right. So within 14 years, and you are supposed to buy calling card every... That is a huge investment. It's a like, huge investment. Right. And you can't even stop it because it's a, it's a necessity. You mm. need to call your children, find out how they are doing, make sure to assist them on phone to be able to do the assignment and all that. Mm. It's not an easy task. Right. So, we have no choice, but we can also start talking about it and find a way to educate our people to understand the purposes of God for their life. If there should be the will of God for anybody to travel, I would advise a proper way where you'll be going with your wife or, if possible, your children. Now, you know, in our case, it's a little bit different because my wife was with me. Yeah. And the only thing we were missing is the presence of the children. Mm. And as you can see, they are grown. And I must appreciate those who took responsibility of them for the past 14 years. They have mm. done well, all right. regardless of what. All right. And we are here to say thank you to all of them. And we will do appreciate their effort. Right. But I will still insist that it is time for us to look into that issues and see how best we can educate the Ghanaian public. People are running away simply because of economic hardship. About 20% of people who are leaving Ghana are going on the basis of education or missions or whatever. About 80%, they, 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 they are just running away for greener pastures, mm -hmm. leaving their wives behind, leaving their children behind. What implications is, 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 is going to have? Have on them. Mm. Have we look at it? Mm. Divorce is one of them. Uh, adultery is one of them. So many things. I mean, and so it is time for us to draw attention of this particular issue. Right. Yes. Right. So, precisely. Right. Thank you so much, yeah. um, Apostle, for that mm. wonderful submission. Thank you very much, Pastor Isaac. As I, as I was saying, um, I am so much happy and excited concerning Victory Missions London and Victory Atri Church, the pastors, the apostles, the prophets, um, for being able to stand regardless of financial difficulties all this while and not running away from your wives and children. Mm. And I'm so grateful because um, it is what it is that has brought the church to the level where we are for us to celebrate our 30 years now. Um, and um, I will continue to advise that uh, none of them should put some kind of pressure on their husbands to run to the greener, to find a greener pastor somewhere simply because of financial difficulties, because it's not easy. There are a lot of pastors and ministers who have left their family behind and they are now living in, 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 in abroad. Some of them, they have fallen and others have been putting their, themselves in another marriage mm. simply because um, they need um, the, uh, the documentation to be able to live in that country. And that forced them into so many dubious things that really pollute their Christian life and tarnish their own image, which is not good. So the Christian community must raise this particular issue. Mm. Hardship and the extent of hardship pushing people to leave their family behind to go and look for greener pastures somewhere. We have to talk about it mm. because it's really destroying so many things. Right. And as you know, we are getting close to the rapture. Mm. We cannot follow money, seek after physical wealth and ignore something that will be able to take us into eternity. Wow. So it is time for us to talk about it. Mm. Yes. Mm. Thank you so much, yeah. Apostle, once again. We appreciate mm. uh, you, and so far you've thrown light, more light on the positive and then the negative, the negative aspect, aspect yeah. of, you know, leaving your family behind yes. and all that. Yeah. Uh, we just want to 
take this opportunity to find out mm. um, the mission and the reason why mm. you are here with us after 14 years. Yes. Jenny. And this is SK Beach TV. As you are watching, the best you can have in the world is SK Beach. Right. So, Apostle, we just want to hear from you why yeah. you are here with us at this time. You are welcome, Pastor. Um, as you know, Victory Outreach had our 30 years last January. On the 9th of January 2021 was exactly 30 years when this church was established. Mm. And you know, the number 30 is a special number in the life of every person or every group. Right. It represents... God's special time of visitation to expose us. Mm. And as I told you behind the camera, that the Jews have a tradition. And one of the traditions of the Jews is that if you are not up to 30 years, you are not supposed to have exposure in public. You can't even stand in public or to become a public figure to speak. Mm. And that is more reason why Christ had to wait until he was about 30 years before he started his ministry because they have that kind of tradition. And that signifies God's time of 30, mm. or his number 30, All right. which represents his special visitation of giving us exposure. So when you are 30 years in business, in church, or, or in terms of age, it's another special time of God's visitation in your life that you need to prepare for it. Right. So, meaning the number 30 is very significant. Very significant. Mm. Every number counts in this world. Right. I'm telling you, numbers are very important. Even with the flight we came with, it was calculated by numbers to fly. Mm -hmm. Even during our landing, it was according to numbers. So, everything we do in this world, numbers are included and numbers are important. Numbers have certain significance. So victory, we have come of age. Okay. The visitation of God that came during 25 years, this one is another dimension of God's blessing coming upon the church. Wow. Of which every branch is going to be connected. Christ. Unless the person decides not to be part of that move. There is coming a special visitation of God, a year of 30. Mm. A year of special favor where God is going to give us expo exposure. Special blessings mm. that people begin to know what we have and what we stand for. Amen. So this is the time. And that is the main reason besides reconnecting with our children. Mm. To be able to stay together or move together. This time around no separation. Mm. Because I want to make sure that I will be with my family either going or coming. Mm -hmm. And um, one important thing of my coming is to prepare all the ministers right. to have a special program in place where we will prepare the next person to replace me. Wow. Uh, because I'm not going to wait until I grow old or die before someone replace my position. So that is what is going to happen. A lot of things is involved in this package of programs that we are going to do. And um, I want to encourage the public not to exempt themselves. Um, we are going to have the first one is going to happen in, uh, in Kumasi coming Monday. What is the date? Coming Monday. Today's date is... Um, Today is first. Is first? Yeah, first of June. Wonderful. First yeah. of June. So um, that means that Sunday... On the 8th. On the 8th and on the 9th. No, sorry. Sunday will be 7th. 7th. So on the 8th will on be Monday. On the 8th Monday. Yeah. Um, throughout the week up to the end of the week. And after that, by the end of this month, we are coming back to Accra. Mm. Now, Christ. that is going to be a portion for Accra branch where a Reverend um, Azikwatin and your beautiful wife mm. and the entire members mm. are going to receive a package of God's blessings. Amen. It's anointing that we have not experienced before. So I, I just want to take advantage of this opportunity um, to you know, announce to the public that if you are in Accra, 
the place will be announced to you. Make sure to come and receive your blessings. If you are in Kumasi, don't hesitate to come from Monday. And you'll be blessed. Amen. 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 Wow. Wow. I mean, we, we are so blessed with this um, interview or documentary that we are just doing. I believe if you are out there uh, watching and listening to this interview, God, through the man of God, our Apostle Paul Kofia Jekum, is giving us a lot of insight here and the purpose and missions why he's here at this point in Ghana has something to do with God's work and to reinforce mm. the ministry yes. and the ministers as well to carry on exactly. the ministry to the next yes. level. And we are not leaving the public. Right. Um, we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are not, we are not leaving them behind. Um, we also have a passion for the country. Right. Especially the youth. Okay. I think that is where I was actually going to yes. ask. My question will be yes. directed to that. I see it as a calling. Okay. It's not just a passion. Mm. Um, so when I was coming, I was having a discussion with one of the prominent Ghanaians within the community, um, a Ghanaian community in the UK. And I told that man that if you want to brainwash a country and have a new mindset of citizens who are ready to build their country and move it forward. Mm -hmm. Start with children and forget about the adults. Mm. So this time, the churches and society, everybody need to be involved in making sure that we have a specific programming, training our children, brainwashing children, to begin to understand a nation, how to love a nation, a passion for country. Mm. And that's why before we started this interview, I was talking to my grandchildren to right. start to watch or watching the local movies. Mm. Something that has something to do with our culture. Mm -hmm. Because the more we allow the foreign movies, we are brainwashing our children. And they will always be thinking the way white people think. Mm. And they, 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 they will believe that the white people are the best people. Mm. It is wrong. It is time to change those traditions. Right. And train our children to love the country. Right. And by doing so, I believe in the next 20, 30 years to come, if Jesus tallies, Ghana will not be as we see today. It will change. Amen. Yes, because if we, all of us are getting ourselves involved in this kind of project and making sure to have, um, I'm soliciting people to build the communities for children, reaching out children, training children on community basis. You know, teaching them to understand what a nation is all about and how they can grow to become a responsible citizens. Mm. It's a calling of itself. Yeah. Yes. So right. that's another thing. Mm. That's mm. that's that's wonderful. That's yeah. awesome. Meaning that Papa said uh, I can cast a money say say we feel ukromo hine abenya. We yela jabu asi. We yela ewo jabu asi. Pepe pepe. See, looking at say ye mai on my Ghana. Uh, senior or my name is Seco, though uh, say, Oh, uh, UK, and I feel no one but Ghana. And then so, Nim Samoshe, the Eco Subia, right, Etigan and Sam Crachain, the draw cry. Yes, the same if I can hear you so now, me be say, uh -huh. uh, Papa, why ye, Yamir Juman Phoebe Bray, why ye, or can defoe, would name day, Yamir Shaw, Nim Dianin Yan Semono, Senna or May, who or May Dachin. Mm. Said they now can a mofra as him. Say, or mine a dach, you know, it's the same. Mm. It's a bit mature for Nibia. That's a papa also for Isaac. Uh, or my Ghana, say, Ubi cast for mine no any dach here. Now, coin be so no a beer, uh, Unyanti near Manibiasi. Dach and ye, or my beer or dach. Cause of Ukura or dach. Then this a Ghana. No be nim se pogami. Mm-hmm. Ni kuru no de say. Pogami ya yeah. uh ni ni kuru no mi wire fikakra. One of these African countries. So send a be a word with something like that. Yeah. About thirty years ago, the mm -hmm. ninety say. Mm -hmm. And it's a civil war, so ne kekam. But then they shampon swa one more any 
eh, consistently omo ma ba ko etena so che o ma no die e wo da che ne so sebeye mhm sebeye enu ni asemi mhm obi ya ka to se di da che a no wo boa o ye mpuntu no ko nya dodo sa wo hwe o man yi o nyame nyansa o de adu ni pa human resources na we minerals we share forests we we sanmi mo atwe mo hie a woni ni nyina to nsan ye so a uk kura friend uk no oni mo half mm wah na so we se no mo si achichire man no fa an american po wah ni nyina jina o man no mpanim fu no a ye pa won de o man hye won sa any time we phone and cast and so send your mindset a trip. And no one can ever be a champion. No man for what you engage in a course, a soja for a member of the country. So we should send the African city and what you need for your for your president. So you are not going to be so any a bunny a team that so every twelve years, twenty years, sir. And Sakraya be a war a bedding. And no one. Ese se ya bani ya o transwacha o pepa. O bibe duma transwacha no pepa ni ni ho. Na ye nje ni. So, enti adiene di ebe ye ye ya wadachi ne mo sebe ye. E ho nasim ni nye ho. E ho e nasim ni nye ho. Enti yo sefo. Ni nye na anese ye ya ye kuta baibu no. Mo me ye nye ya jwen se kriso sum eni ya memu ni wiyase ni eme ni hwe ye enti. Ye mi ya su diye nina kwa ya son dem Empaibo akonchine, Empaibo akonchine, Empaibo akonchine Ni ye jai omani ya tuna saura Ye ti ya ye kase yi Ye ye krisofu o A ye belongu to Victory Missions and Victory Art Free Church Den so ti ya siya se e isika ne diye te ya Asa mwa ye kani ni ye ye nye isika Akwa brani ye ucha ye nye na ye isika Eske bi te isika Enye kamra no di uja Ne nye isika Sikan hua na ene dia. E ya bany. We ni mseti me mufuwa ye only money. We are caretakers of the money, the currency. It doesn't belong to us. By law, sika e ya bany dia. The government of Ghana. E di ni na ati ti sika mwa ezi e chow. O mwa mwa sika ezi e chow. Gwe ti amra. So, e ndi upe sika ni ene dia pa yu nyamene ya bany. Ye ni ake nyine e sika su shesu fo. E ndi uye e juma wa hua denu. Ni ya shio so di etu ya wakase kakira me du nzem. Nefa ye ni ya uwe ya danda wwa kwa fufuro hono nusu atafiru wwa ane wakisa ane ye na sika na se chita anono. So, enti ni ya ye kane se. O manu diye ebe ye ye. Ne mu msebe ye. E se sebe ni ufose su nusu bayi. A wamu kwa bani mwa. E du furupe. Pe se min kuminya. No mo tutu ni yama troka anu. Esa si ye yama ye nye ni pa. Ombe kwa bani mo se de will not do that. Ni ye nye ti me mo fu on su omu yo mai ma. Omu yo mai ma pa. Sa omu se de will comply with rules and regulations and laws. Ni ye ya ju si ebe ye ju ma ni yo. Ni ye bom pa ye hiri ba bani wya. Let's be responsible citizens for our country. Mm-hmm. We shouldn't limit all our responsibilities or spirituality. Of course, or man also can't be a man abasa because a dear be koso na me me your sofu na we di masofu di ene tu inchami we nim diye se beti ma ibi di abua yezo your sofu we do we can't politics. Politics na zinese. You can't politics. What is the meaning of politics? My good brother, you can't politics. It simply means a ye a ye social contract. So, ana. It's a means of putting in place to manage your society. Any kind of politics. If you say, hey, politics, politics. But what sort of nonsense are all these useless definitions is this? Mm. No, 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 no. If politics is dirty, it's dirty for those who are dirty. Mm. Politics is not dirty. It's not even a game. Me think of what you can say. Politics is a dirty game. It's not a game. Mm. And let alone to become... A, 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 a debt. It's a serious business of running a society. Yeah. And you're from the politics. So, and just as you know, you know, you're quite heavy, you're quite heavy, and I have many of my own. Which are the politics? 
na wutu wana so nkoto aba wutu wana so nya dwuma di ntua wutu a sabi nkwasempa fo obekwa akoto nkwasiamba ayi wonu a ense so mbu man na wo dey take a wrong decision to affect you na dia be show ko na dia be show ko so what are they talking about yeah. everybody must be involved in yeah. making sure that we move Ghana forward from where Ghana is now praise to a better god. place for our children praise god mm say say be am adin kina dure be ma me di say eh me di di say me nana no na me dwene ho me ma na me dwene ho say Ghana will be a better place ye be sisi adan pa se be ya ade pa ene ima no mu nwane nyawo say there's a place called london there's mm. a place called uk mm. and you're better than ghana so they want to go there no and no necessity if you want some guy and to nyame shira victor so for say uh mo mo jin sempai tu na mo de mo hu awura mu say yem ma ye som ne yegidie no nko yem pai bo ne akonchene kwa de mo yiti ase say aso die bi so ho e da ye so fa ghana ho say you make sure say ghana e be ye ghana na me nyina ye ni age ho de etima trem aso wiem Oh, ni ya shu nyanko po eni bonyam. Ito safu. Nani ya ubi saa ene kakrea meti mi akano. Mi se, madam so. Ah. Nse mbi saa ni ya nono ope. Nchi no. Eye do kwa se mwa. Chinye biya eni mwa. Ene kakrea beso so. Nse papa waka sa ye pa. Waka sa. Ene nwa ane urade na mi ya shu a juma ni ye ye. Ah, mi jili ye se. Nse mwa ya eba ni modu. Na ye ma ame wa heidi ye. Na ye beti ye ononso. Ne futu se mwa. Ene inkasa huu kakra efu anko moya eda epunosui. Yes. Ay. Nti. Over to you, mommy. Mi lewa se. Sofu. Ay. Mi pe me kasa papa nsen wa kani yina wa ye kwe yi. Na. Ya wafu me kakre bi na wato so. E se. Mu nja ufu pabusu ya. Mu eno oma. Mm. Etu kwa. Ani mi kise he. Enough. <laughs> 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 Any community I grateful for. Mm. But when you're not doing the doing, say, "Who, who, 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 the only thing I do is I don't go to school for any of my money. Na baby, baby, I no am a touch ma. I want to know how to hold it. I'm a man. I'm ready. The only thing I do is I don't go to school for any of my money. I'm a man. I'm ready. The only thing I do is I don't go to school for any of my money. I'm a man. I'm ready. The only thing I do is I don't go to school for any of my money. I'm a man. I'm ready. The only thing I do is I don't go to school for any of my money. I'm a man. I'm ready. The only thing I do is I don't go to school for any of my money. I'm a man. I'm ready. And I'm very happy at to say thank you, Jesus, for what He has brought us. Yeah. It wasn't easy. Mm. It wasn't easy from the beginning to the to at this time. Sure. Mm. But I can see that um, God is doing new things altogether. That's right. Day in and day out, He sure. is improving the things He's doing. Mm. 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 And I believe mm. that these thirty years mm. there will be great miracles. Yeah. Mm. I mean. Mm. Miracles are going to happen exactly. during this um, one month program you are going Celebration. to do. Mm. Right. And whoever is going to involve, mm. sure, mm. is going to be um, mm. inherit mm. the, um, the, the, the blessings of, the, uh, of God. Oh God. Mm. Okay. So I believe that no one is going to um, depart and no one is going to ignore this wonderful program. Mm. And I'm using this opportunity to invite each and everyone That's who right. is going to listen to this program mm. to mm. attend mm. Accra and Kumasi mm. 30 mm. years and mm. event we are mm. going to have starting mm. from next week. Yeah. Right. So 
So I'm expecting everyone right. who will be able to mm. attend the program. Mm. Be very happy, mm. and that person mm. is not, it's not going to be the same. Mm. Yeah, different, mm. different things to be very same. Of course, so, of course. God bless you, Amen. Pastor uh, mm. Isaac, mm. and your. I want to say you're beautiful uh, yeah. wife, yes. children as well. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Amen. Yes. And to add to it, yeah. um, we just want to um, let the branch in, 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 in London um, be aware that whatever happened during the 30 years anniversary, we will make sure to uh, update you with, with all the events. Mm. And so continue to support. You have had your share. And um, it is time for the branches in Ghana also to have their share of the 30 years anniversary. So do well to support us with prayer and also do well to support us financially, especially with the Accra branch. I just had a discussion with Pastor Isaac concerning their finances and I can tell you for a fact that it's not easy. They will need your financial support, especially um, 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 at least on monthly. So if you are watching and um, you are a member of Victory in London, Victory Mission. Now, let me say um, um, thank you to Reverend Grace Usu and oh. the entire family. Wow. You did wonderful, 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 Christ wonderful God. thing. And our new presiding elder, mm -hmm. um, he was previously ordained as deacon. And now, uh, just before we came, he was ordained as acting presiding Elder. Um, Elder of Victory Missions London in the person of Mr. Koku Ijemfi and my son Samuel Ampong and um, um, the new trustees and all those gurus who supported us um, during the send-off. We are so grateful. Please um, don't forget about Accra branch. Pastor Isaac is here. They need your financial support. I have come to witness it or we have come to witness it ourselves and we see that it's not easy. So whatever the Lord has laid on your heart and you feel like... Now, can you tell them your number um, if anyone is interested in supporting Accra branch and yourself and your, your family? Now, tell them your number so that you... Um, right. Uh, any form of help that will come, we have this number that you can contact us uh, whatever support in whatever form. Uh, you'll be able to reach out to us. And the number is 23 plus 233-024-0630-507. Let me take it again. Plus 233-240-630-507. So you can momo, you can reach us on this number so nothing is small and nothing is huge that's right god will reach every little you. count every little count yes like that's what we that. see it in britain so coming to uh the conclusion of this interview mm. uh we would like to take the last words okay advice that apostle you have general advice that okay. you have now the conclusion of of this whole discussion is very simple God's time has come. Mm. Amen. I mean, you cannot afford to miss this program that is going to happen. Praise God. The anointing of the Holy Spirit will be present to touch every woman, every man. Amen. No matter your situation. Mm. So please don't stay behind. Amen. Make sure the Kra one, make sure the Kumasu one, Asokori Mampo, and of course, Amokum one, get yourself involved and make sure to come to the program. And the power of God will be available to bless everyone who will show yourself up in that 30 years anniversary starting on Monday on the 8th of June 2021, the year of our Lord for Victory Missions London and Victory Atri Churches in Ghana. So that is my last word, and I want to encourage everybody to continue to be strong mm. and continue to trust on the Lord. He has Amen. never disappointed, Amen. and he will never do. Amen. Let us continue to hold fast unto his word. Mm. And the Lord, the good Lord, who really blesses us 
or bless the men of old who bless us in our time Amen. for us to testify to the whole world that we still have a faithful God who is still as yesterday, today, and forevermore. So on behalf of my beautiful wife, um, Mrs. Ejekum, who is popularly known in UK as Mokas <laughs> uh, She's always close with me. My best friend in the world. Mm. On behalf of her, I, I want to thank you very much. You and your wife and the children for coming mm. to see us. Mm. And also to grant us such a powerful platform mm. for us to share these few things with our viewers. We also thank SK Beat mm. for uh, making it available for people to have it on SKB TV. Uh, viewers, God bless all of you for um, taking time to watch. Continue to watch SKB movies, comedies, and what have you. And continue to bring your advertising product to him. He will give you value for money. Mm. Advert that you will never regret. Mm. So that is all. Wow, 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 wow. Viewers, I think you've heard it all and you've seen it all. On this particular um, interview, um, God has really taught us so many things through the man of God. And also our mommy also added a voice to it. And it's so powerful and it's so touching. Don't miss out. You know, 30 years anniversary of God's favor this is about time God is going to visit the church and it's going to be powerful. In Kumasi from on the 8th of this month, June, and it will carry on to, throughout the month. Um, in Accra here, it's going to begin from 31st mm. and then 1st, 2nd on to, mm. to the 4th of mm. June. Mm. Uh, sorry, July. Yeah. So please don't invite somebody make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend or family member yeah. and they will all be blessed for mm. coming mm. before we leave we will also take a prayer we can't go without taking a prayer and exactly. a blessing from our apostle here to bless us with a closing prayer thank you um shall we have a word of prayer precious father i thank you for victory Artery churches and Victory Missions London. I thank you for the apostles and pastors, teachers and evangelists that you have blessed the church with, especially their wives and their children. And I always bless you for the exemplary life that they are living to show to the world that indeed they are ready to do what God has called them to do. Lord, I pray that this week as we prepare ourselves to go to a special time of the 30th anniversary. I pray that the anointing of the Spirit of God will come upon everyone who is a member of this church. And I pray those who are going to participate, those who will be leading prayer, those who will be, those, those who will be leading worship, everyone, let the anointing be so great Jesus. that healing will take place that your glory will be seen. Yes. Nobody will come there, be ye Accra one or Kumasi one. No one will come there without experiencing your power and your glory. Jesus. I pray for those who be watching from afar yes. on this particular network. Let the same anointing yes. touch them and heal their broken heart yes. and bring them to where you have proposed to bring them to in life. Some of them are so depressed and confused mm. and they need your touch. Lord, yes, touch Lord. them. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 This is SKB TV. This is the best television you can get in the whole wide world. Mm. And I believe you watch SKB and you will never regret. Thank you for watching.